In this video, I'll be showing you how you can download and install Natural Vision Involved and Reshade for free in your GTA 5 game. I'll walk you through everything you need to know to get the best experience. I will be showing you in-game how to get the best settings for your reshade. I'll be showing you how to get the beautiful clouds in-game, how to change the raindrops on your screen, how to change every lights on your vehicle, and we will be installing three vehicles provided by raised mods. So before we do that, I would like to inform you this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you find any value in this video, which you will, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and download the files we will be needing. I will leave a link in the description that will lead you towards my discord server after you verify yourself you will see all the channels we also have a installation service for anyone that's lazy we will remotely install everything for you we will be heading to the channel called gta graphics and we're going to go to number 15 how to install mv if you don't want to join discord that's totally fine you can just type in the links as you see right here so let's go ahead and visit the links these are the links let's go ahead and download them instantly so we don't waste any time we will also be installing a trainer so you can spawn anything you want change time and much much more and this is the raised mod like i mentioned before this is a free version uh, of raised so that is awesome it is recently a few months ago updated so I really like it it's one of the best graphic modifications out there let's click on download and there you go now let's go ahead and get our downloaded files and our grand theft auto main directory folder so this nv will be including reshade which is awesome and we're gonna go ahead and open up our grand theft auto main directory as you can see i have a copy always make a backup uh that is what i highly recommend let's go ahead and download or install the first application click on it hit agree continue and hit continue and it will install it for you i already have it installed so i can i don't have to hit continue let's go ahead and open it up for the first time you do that by searching for it right clicking on it and run as administrator hit yes windows hit what can i do set permission hit ok close it go to tools asi manager install these three at the second option it will ask you to create a mods folder you will click on yes here you will also install it and here you will hit close then you can close this up you're going to go to the second one go to the bin folder and select the two files that i select and drag and drop them in the main directory folder there you go then we're going to go to the third file we downloaded double click on it click on the two files that i clicked on and drag and drop them in your folder that's how easy it is then the last one we do need to extract right click on it and hit extract all that's okay just gonna double click on it and then open up open iv you won't get that notification by the way let's go ahead and hit edit mode click yes and now we're gonna drag and drop part one which is not possible on I just extracted with the WinRAR instead, instead of the Windows one. I don't know why I'm getting that notification lately, but don't worry about that. It is extracting right now. That's why you always need the OIV files extracted. Let's wait for it. That's done. Let's open it up. Let's go to part one, click on it and drag and drop it in open four. Let's hit install. Always install the mods folder click install again and let it do its magic part one is done let's go ahead and close this up but not open four we're gonna go to part two and drag and drop it in there did i just open up the 
part two. There you go. And that's how easy it is. You want to install it to the mods folder again. And again, like I mentioned before, this free version, including Reshade, is one of the best graphic modifications for your GTA 5. I am really surprised how good this free version of Erased Mods is. I want to thank him for all the hard work that he's done to put this for the free communi community. Now let's go to this folder right here, the Reshade, double click on it select everything and drag and drop it in your GTA folder then we're gonna go to optionals here you can choose performance boost I won't be installing this because this will remove uh, some things in the game to make the FPS go higher what I do like is number three brighter emergent lights Gun. There you go. And I also like these roads to be added. Let's close this up. Install this. Hit on install the mods folder. And this will change the roads in very high quality so that's awesome that's done we can close it up again let's go to the second one i want high reflections keep in mind this will affect your fps i am running on a 3090 uh, i am going to install this in the game folder because the option is not for the mods folder so i am running a 3090 without any modifications uh, on 4k max settings i hit approximately 100 110 fps with graphic modifications it almost gets to the half unfortunately like approximately 50 if i'm lucky 60 especially with these heavy extra vegetations in the game it will drain the fps the frame per seconds is just a choice you have to make will you want the quality over the performance I'm okay with 60 FPS, 50 FPS, but a bit lower than that is affecting the gameplay a lot. Um, for I don't want this. This is then you see the your lights your, of your car, and you see on the side also more uh, light shining. I don't like that. Let's go to oh, white street lights. Yeah, I want this. I want it white in the night. So you'll get it like this. There will be more LED lights. Hit install. That's also installed. Uh, what else? The game the convict file we will be needing. I think that's about it. I'm just going to install the cars also. Go. Install, install, install. There you go, hit close, go back. Let's go to these cars. Let's install them quickly. Very nice vehicles, also created by them, I believe. That's also done, let's go to this one. Almost done, it's pretty easy, as you can see, I hope I've explained I'm explaining it good. Please let me know in the comment section. And that's also done. That's how easy this is. So let's go ahead and download or install the last vehicle and then we are ready to go ahead and see the end result. If somehow you're not satisfied with any of this you can easily uninstall it through this one right here but we won't be doing that of course let's go ahead and start up the game and this will be your new intro 
so in the left upper corner i already got the reshade notification so that's working so if for some reason you don't see the reshade notification notification when it starts up go ahead and right click on here properties compatibility check run this program in windows 7 and hit apply the same goes for this file right here right click on it hit properties compatibility check run this program in windows 7 and hit apply so we're in the game and the first thing we're going to go ahead and test out is the f3 menu that's a simple trainer where you can change time weather spawn things uh make it night time and you can get god mode etc probably most of you guys already know this just a quick uh, walkthrough of it if you want to go down and up you need to use the eight or two to go up eight to go up two to go down but you need to use the right side of your keyboard the key numbers on the right side and five to enter and five to enter again okay we're gonna hit the ins button to get up our reshade and let's do a quick walkthrough of everything um, we can change here for instance the rain settings if we go ahead and go to weather and we're gonna go and make it rain so you're gonna have it probably with some drops on the screen like this which i turned off i did not like that so i turned that off that's gonna be small drops and which one and the big drops i turn it down to zero so you don't have that drops anymore so you can play around a bit with these you can always reset it just by clicking on here and then you'll get the original one again i did not want this and i did not want this either um let's go ahead to the clouds i love this cloud right here so fps by the way we have 43 oh, i have everything maxed out so that makes sense but it is a very small game so i love these clouds it is amazing um let's dive a bit even deeper let's go to shader the vehicle here you can play with everything so let's go ahead and make it nighttime just for the fun of it let's also turn on our sirens oh, that's gonna make too much sound by the way let's do it for now like this let's check out our lights here hit the ins button and we're gonna go to nighttime here you can do the global light multiplier as you can see so you can put it max to 100 so it's already like this already really awesome right here so then you have the siren still that you can still change let's see do we have a siren I think we have some more sirens, but I must be fly. Sirens, right here. Okay. So, is it chicken? Or is it not? I do not see the difference right now. Let's try the chill lights. There you go. There you go, so that's working. So see we're playing around with it too much uh, if you hit insert again you can easily reset everything just by holding ctrl plus shift reset reset there you go so if i only do this or i will change this back like this oh, so this one apparently is i'm doing something wrong obviously uh so this one you want to turn up a bit and here you can change everything else in it see the intensive intensity of it around you 
That's pretty awesome. You can play around with it, see what works with you for you. What's this? Okay. So we also downloaded some vehicles and installed them. Let's go ahead and pop those up too. You want to go to the added vehicle menu and here you have it that's pretty awesome isn't it Damn. so yeah i don't know what to say but uh, these cars are amazing we also install these the reflections are amazing you can change so much in these settings i highly recommend you playing around with it see what works with you for you and uh yeah you want to play with the vehicles of course the weather okay, cloudy there you go that is awesome but you can also make it christmas look how awesome that is i don't think even we installed the christmas pack so you can even make it more nice So, that being said, I think I've explained everything. Um, so here you can even do more things. You have also the color colors that you can change if you want. A reset the color. Yeah. So we can change this here. As you can see, we can make it however you please. So this was default. Again default. Boost filter. I think I love I like this one now. As you can see, that is that's pretty cool. But the most important thing you can also change them right here. So you can change the brightness. You can change or is this custom? It's gonna be this one, I believe. Or not. No. It should be. Aha! It's it's gonna be default. It's gonna be default. So we're gonna reset it again. So if you have to default, then you can change everything right here. So here you can play around with it, see what you like, and then you can save it. Let's reset it again. And you save it by hitting right here the save button or auto save on so let's reset it let's go to this one i like this one i guess uh here you can also change more things i recommend you just trying it out see what it does it's a lot of things that you can change right here see this is already max this also max the possibilities are endless so that being said i think we have come to the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please let me know in the comments section give me some feedback thank you all for watching and have a great day goodbye